Hey guys, Zach Cipriano with your travel adventure today. I am going to earn my lunch because today I'm mountain biking one of the roughest, toughest trails in the West, Thunder Mountain Trailhead. Ruby's in is along for the ride. Let's go. start out you're riding through a lot of the ponderosas and the, the switchbacks in and out of the canyons. And then the last half, it's a little more treacherous. You get to, you go on the backbone and some ridges down here where it's a little straight off on both sides. You get to see the hoodoos in Red Canyon. It's just a really neat ride. There's some great vistas and you really start to get in some hoodoos and, and some of the same formations of limestone that, that Bryce Canyon is, is formed from. It's a little more difficult than most of the trails around here, but it is beautiful scenery. Everybody, you got your bikes? Yes, sir. Everybody got your brain bucket? Yep. All right, let's ride. The Thunder Mountain Trail can be accessed from two separate trailheads, one near the Red Canyon Visitor Center on Highway 12 and the other southeast of that location, which is where we took off from today. While we shuttled from Ruby's Inn, a service they offer if you're renting bikes from them, Garfield County has made it easy to hit several mountain biking trails with a paved path that takes you right along scenic Highway 12. Not only is this a great way to see some of the wilderness tucked away from the highway, but it's obviously a fantastic workout. I love to be outside, I like to exercise, and this gets me outside instead of in front of a TV screen or in a weight room and just taking in the fresh air and enjoying the outdoors. I enjoy my mountain biking because it, it gets me out in the outdoors. We have some unique trails and because of this, the color of the country we ride in, you know, it's exercise for me, you know, I don't necessarily get too crazy into it, but it's, it's exercise, gets me in the outdoors and uh, keeps, helps keep me a little bit physically fit. This ride is not for the faint of heart. These guys have no problems at all. They're just, this is like going up an escalator for them. Now I'm gonna be honest, when I was told that this trail is not for beginners, I thought, how hard could it possibly be? Um, pretty hard. The switchbacks are sharp, the climbs are long, and in some places the rocks can be pretty slick going down. By the end, you're pretty high up. It's important to know your skill and be honest with yourself. Quick tip, only ride with what you're comfortable with. It's totally okay to walk your bike down some more technical parts that you don't feel good about. I have done that several times. And of course, be prepared with maintenance equipment necessary to deal with flats, broken chains, or other common breaks out there on the trail. Well, if you have any of the tools, that is definitely recommended. And a little bit of know-how on bicycles, especially, you know, for flat tires and stuff. And those are pretty simple to fix. But when you run into mechanical, whether it's chain, uh, derailers, or brakes, or anything like that, it's good to have some knowledge on how to repair them. If not, you always walk your bike out to be safe. If mountain biking isn't exactly your speed, Garfield County offers plenty of diversity when it comes to choosing your recreation. Well, there's definitely a lot of hiking with Bryce Canyon and the surrounding area and the Dixie National Forest, but you also have ATVs. Uh, we have hundreds of miles of trails around here that you can bring your ATV and ride on. And, and right from Bryce Canyon City, you know, the trailheads begin right there and you can go a long ways on those. This area is a place that uh, there is plenty of coverage, but you know you need to you need to put down your devices and come and enjoy what uh, what we have here. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy ATVing as much as the next guy, but there's a feeling of accomplishment when staring out over the rocky red landscape along the Thunder Mountain Trail. Knowing how hard we worked to climb that mountain somehow made the colors brighter, the breeze more enjoyable, and yeah. I'm sure the food is gonna taste even better too. Shiloh, what's the biggest size steak you got at Ruby's Inn? I got around a 20 ounce steak. 20 ounce steak? I'm having four of those for dinner tonight. If you don't feel like you're quite ready to tackle Thunder Mountain, that's okay, start small. There are dozens of other single track trails to help you get your legs under you. Ultimately, with each turn of the pedals, you'll find yourself more and more prepared for the next challenge. I told you guys that I was going to earn my meal today and I am cashing in that paycheck now. I am at the buffet here at Ruby's Inn and a buffet is nice because it means I can get about 14 of everything. Ruby's Inn has a great setup here. You can do so many different outdoor adventures, biking, ATVing, horseback riding. Come back here and get some grub. Well, I'm Zach Cipriano with At Your Leisure. Uh, can you just let me eat these for a second? Thank you. 